My husband is an architect. He was entering for a competition for an interior design project at the airport. So I joined him and I said, let me work with you on that. For the upholstery, then I wanted to use hand-woven block-printed fabric. And there used to be one shop on Shara Faisal Brick Road at that time. So he um, used to do block printed on thick hand-woven cloth. I didn't particularly find anything and I came to know that on Bandar Road there's a tiny shop where they're block printing. So I went there just to see what's happening there. I was just fascinated by the whole process of printing, which I'd never seen before. And uh, this man was taking, dipping the blocks, awful blocks, awful colors. He was doing these little dastakhans, tiny little shop, and all cobwebs on the blocks that were all lying around. But I spotted some beautiful blocks which were tucked away, not being used. They were just making small uh, napkins and dastakhans. But the process was really fascinating. And so I just uh, started going back to him and I said, look, I need to get some cloth printed, but uh, uh, let me select some designs and colors. And so that started a whole new process of discovery and I came to know that Lee Market was uh, where a lot of block printers lived, uh, still continuing. But that whole place apparently used to be a girl of hand block printing pre-partition. And so sarees we used to be printed there, hand block printed and then sent to Bombay or Dhaka and the other areas. And I came across this whole colony and you know, this whole community of people who um, had thrown all the blocks up under their beds, charpani, and had turned into a baker, an electrician, changed their profession after partition because there were no sari wearers here. So there's a lot of going and talking to them and saying and pulling out the old blocks and saying, will you like to do it again? And they said, yes, we'd like to do that. They had everything, they had the tables up and everything to do the printing. And then one of my friends said, look, you're constantly going there. Why don't you set up a table in my garage? She had an empty garage. And we set up a table and I told the guys that, why don't you come and let's start working? Um, so they were interested. I got somebody who, was, who could carve blocks so this tiny little setup, and I was just playing with blocks on cloth, like using it as a canvas, and that's how the block printing kind of started. I learned everything from them.